probably like the first time I've ever been in front of a camera because I don't really like to, you know, show my face and shit because I just think I'll get judged. But, yeah, I talk to a few blokes on YouTube and they reckon I should start showing myself in videos and explaining a little bit more. Um, yeah, so at the moment I'm a horror. Um, I haven't really told you, but I did, I own this car for about, well, my dad bought it for me for my first car and it got used as like a work vehicle pretty much and uh, for a few years and um, I ended up buying the Falcon and the engine got pretty tired in it and ended up, I ended up losing, nearly lost my license in my Falcon and then I um, ended up pretty much, my dad pretty much said pay the red jar when it's yours for the hire. So I did and you know it was pretty slow and all that but it was going to keep my license and um, end up cracking three pistons in it uh, when I was driving towards Sydney which is about from Gosh Harbour is about um, I don't know five hour drive six hour drive cracked three pistons the engine ran away sat on about five grand bucks six grand I had to stall it out and um, drove back to Coffs and used all the oil. I drove around for another about, I don't know, a year and um, looked for cracked pistons and yeah, the blow bar was crazy. I'd use about five litres of oil in two weeks easily. Um, it was all down on power and everything. Um, but yeah, so I've rebuilt the engine in it. New pistons, new turbo, all new radiator. Um, Everything's been repainted, every bracket on the engine, I repainted everything. I didn't do any videos on it because I was just getting it rebuilt. Um, everything's redone. Um, I've now done about 6,000 Ks on the engine. And now I want to up my fueling. I'm running, because the stock motor runs about 8 PSI standard. But this turbo is set for wastegate at 12. And my, I've adjusted my ejector pump to run factory while I ran the engine in, but it's now starting to be too lean. So once you get over 8 PSI, it leans out and you can feel it. It's not liking it. I have still got a stock dump pipe and um, no pyro gauge. So I'm gonna get a bigger, I'm gonna make a bigger dump pipe soon and put a pyro gauge in so I'm pretty safe. But I'm just gonna adjust the pump up a little bit more in the um, boost compensator, just enough so I'm not leaning out at 3000 revs. On 12 PSI, so I'm going to um, pull the um, air intake off and everything, and get to getting this boost compensator off. All right, so I'm just going to remove these this intake hose. There will be a few more videos on this car, um, rust repairs, and hooking up the temp gauge, and making the dump pipe. Um, also got to fix my rocket cover gasket because the one that I got supplied in my um, rebuild kit, um, the gasket wasn't was shit. Like it just fucking leaked straight away. So I've got to fix that. It's leaking out of the back of the head real bad. But she'll be right, mate. It's way over tough. Um, yeah. So a little bit of oil in there. Not much of the old. Everyone that's not in, not in um, Australia, there's a kangaroo right there at my house. Look, there we go. You probably haven't seen that in a while, or have seen one of them. Come here. <whistles> hey. He'll see me pretty quick. We'll make a run. Come here. Could attack me too. I'm not careful. Little joey. It's alright. Anyway, back to the video. We'll leave that alone. Right, so here's the boost compensator. Um, I just got to take basically that whole top section off, and there will be a um, there will be like a pin or a, uh, a shaft 
um, with like a cutout uh, on a taper, which basically when you um, get on boost, boost pressure pushes the diaphragm downwards and allows extra fuel. So I'm just gonna grab an Allen key and remove the uh, top cover here, marking which way it sits from factory, and then we will, um, we will, I'll show you how to adjust it and we'll not really show you, but uh, it's not really a tutorial, but it's just, I'm just blogging on what I do, you know, on my spare time. Um, so yeah. All right, so now I've uncracked all these. Just gotta remove them all. It's actually a real, like this, this motor here, the 2LT versus like the 3L or the 5L. When you look at them, they got so much more to them, like all this EGR bullshit, like, just, I don't even, EGR's not even connected, but fucking, like, there's so much bullshit on these things, eh? It's just, this motor's a lot more fucking complicated than it looks, eh? Like, there is that many brackets and that many procedures of getting this to actually stay, like, go back together. Like, when I was rebuilding this, there was that many procedures to get it to actually, everything, like, you can't put the, um... Uh, in, you can't pull the injector pump without the intake manifold on. You have to take the intake manifold off. There's all these things you got to do. Eh? It's just like I'm not saying it was a hard engine to rebuild, but I'm just saying like there's this is not your average fucking 3L that you find the 2.8 diesel. This is a little bit more different to this one. There's a lot more wiring, all that stuff. Now the engine is hot. I've just driven home from work. I don't have much time. I probably will have about another half an hour and it'll be night time. That will be pretty quick. But yeah, this should help me with my 12 PSI boost. I should be able to be on the highway a little bit easier, a bit more fuel. Um, so yeah, this only, this doesn't, this isn't like a fact, this isn't a... Oh. Don't want to lose that shit. Where? Oh, lucky. Yeah, this isn't going to hurt like give me more power down low. This is definitely going to give me more power on the boost though. So this is my fuel mixture pretty much. So I'm going to just uncrack that one. This is like the probablest way to uncrack them, but it works. Once I get this on there. Without rounding it. So you've got, here we go, we've got a, a top spring, we've got whatever the fuck that is, a seat. Now, I'm just going to zoom in for you so you can see a bit better. There's our diaphragm. Which now, I'm going to mark. I'm just going to put a line in front of the pump and a line there. T 
how we know we have a sitting before. Now there's a spring on the opposite side of this again. So I'm going to lift this out, out of its seat. There's another spring. Alright, so now, now let's all clean this all out. We know what we're at. People tell you to put oil in these, I never have. So, there's our mark before. Now, if we look at the side here, um, that's basically like your advancement. See, like, so 180 degrees, you can see that when this drops down, it un covers a port which lets a lot more fuel come in a lot earlier more aggressive so if you can see there there's that little mark once it focuses see there's like a little on the taper you'll see is that little like line there that's its original mark so I basically want to probably reseat that I'm probably just gonna go half turn, so, well, maybe like a quarter. So I'm gonna probably go from there. I'll probably move it down here. So, I wanna line this up. To about there. I'm just going to remark that, just there. So my original was here, move it to about there, so fuel's going to come in a little bit earlier. Maybe a little bit more. Just going to line it to that mark now. So you can't really jump this too far. You have to sort of just... Um, I, I flipped it before, I ran completely maximum I think it was that should give me a little bit more flow so yeah anyway yeah maybe yeah I'll go there I don't want to push it too far anyway so I'm going to drop it back in now on that position back on mark Should improve it a bit more in the higher revs and the boost. Um, anyway, I'll uh, get back to you another time. Um, I've got another video before this video when you watch this, but yeah, check out um, my other videos in the Falcon if you don't already know of it. Um, shared around a bit. So this weekend I'll hopefully be wiring the digital boost gauge in, and I'm not sure yet, but I'll do something like that. I've still got to put two gauges in, three gauges in this. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll wire a few more things up in here and just gauge in the Falcon. Just a few more things, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, so we'll leave it at that. Right, guys, um, that worked pretty well. Um, 
definitely a bit more soot down and low res, but you know, that's pretty usual. Um, uh, but yeah, the wastegate isn't working too well now. It's pushing it up to 14 psi to 15 psi, nearly about 3,000 revs. But I might have to get a little bit more fuel. 15 pound won't hurt it with the rebuild engine, it should be fine. Um, anyway, also, um, thanks to Kennard Hire, um, they gave me some VIP rally passes for me and the missus. I'll get lots of footage there. Um, also, I will be uploading a video tonight on the uh, Falcon and I'll also be doing a video on the weekend, so stay tuned for that. Um, also, fuck off fucking mosquitoes. Um, got to do a boost gauge install on that. I got to do a boost, uh, new boost gauge on the Hilux, uh, water temp gauge on the Hilux, and what else do I have to do? I have to also put in a pyro gauge. Um, so thanks for watching anyway, guys. Um, I'll see you again on um, Project Card. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so should be good. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll see you again. And Project Garage on another episode. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And um, try and get my videos out there a little bit. I'll be doing like week, week, like at least two videos a week. Um, if I get more views and shit, I'll do like a week video every day. Okay. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Um, okay, I'll see you again on Project Garage. See ya.